my name is Rosette. I'm a fashion redesigner. So basically I redesign from existing garments. Um, so I only work with reclaimed textiles. Um, and I kind of got into fashion from when I first moved to London. So I used to live in Ghana um, and I moved here when I was about 10. And I think the first experience I had with fashion was cross stitching in my year six class. And then that carried on through to school. So I studied textiles and art as well. I did an art A level and then um, deciding between my love for maths and my love for fashion. <laughs> Um, I did like a fashion foundation diploma in my gap year before going off to study math. So I kind of did fashion on the side, just like my own customising of clothes with my little sewing machine in my room, um, learning from YouTube and short courses. Um, and it's kind of evolved from there um, to kind of, I guess, focus more on the sustainable side because as I was so intrigued about fashion, I started learning more about behind the scenes and how my clothes were actually made. And I think the Rana Plaza disaster that happened in 2013, that really opened my eyes to what goes on behind the scenes and how people are affected by you know, fashion in a negative way. So I thought, how can I have a positive impact and not add to the pollution and the waste and the exploitation? And that's how I started doing more like fashion redesign and working with textiles which were on their way to landfill. Um, and just thinking about new ways to create pieces that I love, that are unique and cool, um, but still don't have a negative impact on the world. I kind of start with designing and then get some inspiration from like the 90s and 2000 era, like 90s girl groups and R&B scene. Um, and then I start experimenting with fabric and start playing around with what I have um, at my house, my home, <laughs> home studio, and then um, I kind of go back and forth with design and experimentation just to tweak things, and as I'm like making and playing with the fabric, I also like tweak the design so it kind of evolves as I'm making. And in terms of goals, um, the main thing is reducing textile waste of course, so um, reclaiming as much dead stock and offcuts as I can get my hands on and as I can, you know, make for myself, um, but then also with the workshops that I run, I also want to teach people how to upcycle and create stuff from unworn garments that, you know, sitting in their wardrobe collecting dust. So it's kind of like a mixture of the two elements. So I run upcycling workshops um, just to teach people how to revamp clothing in their wardrobe or pre-love clothing um, to kind of extend that lifetime with the clothing. And that obviously reduces like carbon footprint and water use. So. Um, it's a really good way to help people get an understanding of what goes into their garments, how their garments are made up as well, um, and how they can redesign something that before was going to be, you know, going to landfill or just hasn't been worn, and then redesigning it something new and fresh that can, they can wear again. I want, you know, everyone to be able to sew on a new button or mend the garment that has been, you know, ripped or damaged in some way and be more proactive about mending their clothes. My goals for Revival London, I think I definitely want to run more upcycling workshops and have those on a more frequent basis, um, reach out to wider groups, wider audiences and have more impact there as well. Um, I also want to look into different textiles I can use, so not just denim, which I mainly use, but other textiles like jersey or chiffon or leather or, you know, offcuts um, in all different textiles. Um, and I also want to actually experiment in the menswear space as well, or like gender neutral pieces, so expanding my range into not just women's wear, but you know, having more um, different pieces that other genders can also tap into. So that's definitely what I'm working towards at the moment. And obviously just reclaiming more textiles, diverting them from landfill and reducing our carbon footprint overall.